from deadpit.com with another review. This time we're taking a look at the 2021 Seance. This one right here is the directorial debut of Simon Barrett, who previously worked on Your Next, The Guest, and VHS. This movie debuted last year on Shudder. And it definitely had a little bit of a buzz going forward. I heard a few people talking about it, so it was good to finally check it out. With a name like Seance, you're thinking that this is going to be like a possession type, Ouija board type deal, witch board type movie, right? No, this is not really the case with Seance. This movie takes place in an all girls school. There's a rebellious batch of girls here. There's a chaotic event that caused the death of one of the girls a year earlier. One year later, a new girl by the name of Camille, which is played by Suki Waterhouse, she comes to the academy, It's kind of immediately bullied, and through their punishment, they are, I think they're cleaning a library up at the school or something like that, and they discover a bizarre and tragic history that they didn't know from two decades earlier at the school. The girls, one by one, are kind of picked off, and it all culminates with the climax and a reveal. Uh, very much a post-scream slasher movie, in a way, I thought. I mean, that's the kind of vibe I got. I kind of got a urban legend vibe going on with Seance. Just a classic slasher killer in this, really. A masked man in black. Now, I gotta be honest with you, I mean, Simon Barrett, I really, you know, he, he worked on The Guest, which is a movie that I really, really liked quite a bit. I don't think we've ever talked about that on the show or anything. Um, Your Next was pretty good, too. The VHS movie, initially, he worked on. I am very excited to see what is next. For, for our favorite bloke, Simon Barrett. This was just fun. I enjoyed this. It's nothing groundbreaking at all, but if you're a fan of those movies from the late 90s, early 2000s, kind of a murder mystery slasher type film, uh, you'll get a kick out of this one. There's some cool stuff in it, some surprises along the way, stuff that you may or may not see coming. I'm not really sure. But um, I had a lot of fun with this one, man. Acorn Media International sent this our way. This DVD, along with the Blu-ray, came out recently over in the United Kingdom, like on January the 10th. And I'm glad we got to check it out. Some of the features that's in this DVD include a director commentary, behind-the-scenes outtakes, deleted scenes, some uncut gore footage, which I know everyone enjoys, behind the scenes photo galleries, and more. At the end of the day, Seance is actually a lot of fun. I was very, very pleasantly surprised with this movie. Um, again, if you're a fan of some of the post-Scream meta slasher movies of the day, Urban Legends, uh, I know what you did last summer, even Valentine, um, Soul Survivor, stuff like that. It's kind of set up like that, a newer, updated version of that. Check Seance out now and check us out over at deadpit.com. Give us the thumbs up. Off you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime. That dead pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a if you do it. I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. Let's keep our community growing here on no, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to touch nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And <laughs> click that bell. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears started only $1.